Hey, hey, Drew Gilchrist here, and last night I put on my Snapchat story a picture of a braided joint. It's kind of where you get three joints and you and you make them together to make a braid. So many of you asked me to make a video tutorial on it that I thought I would just do it today. Fuck it, I'm just gonna do it. So what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a packet of papers. Well, not necessarily a packet, you're gonna need five papers in total. And that's not actually because you're using five papers, you're using three of those papers to actually roll joints, and then you're using two of the stickies. To get the stickies off the, the Rizzler, I, I, I lick across this bit and then I just rip that bit off and I know a lot of you guys will be wondering what amount of herbs and spices you guys should be putting in but unlike a cross joint and stuff like that there's no sort of minimum requirement because actually you're going to be wanting to make them thinner than fatter because when they're fatter they're going to be a little bit hard to sort of bend around a little bit and it's just not as fun bearing in mind I only made my first one the other day but it seemed pretty easy and I thought I would show you guys how I did it so first off just roll three skinny joints after you've got the three skinny joints rolled first normally, after you've got them all done and nice, you then want to loosen them up afterwards. The only reason I suggest this is just because rolling loosely is bad. Like if you roll loosely and then it will like sidey, you don't want that on the braid. Whereas if you roll it tight and then loosen it up uh, afterwards, you know it's gonna be loosened like sort of naturally all the way around rather than having like one bit where it's tight and then another bit where it's loose and it just it's just easier trust me so after after you've got these skinny but loose-ish joints but they're still long you're going to want to wrap the first sticky around the end of your filters so that it goes all the way up to the end and then after you've got that wrapped all the way around you're just going to want to do the same with the other one uh you, you want to do the same but just underneath so you've just got that extra bit of support on the, the filters of the braid. So the three filters are now connected together. At this point, it's actually insanely simple. I didn't even think it would be as simple as this. Do a normal braid, you just push it in and wrap it around. Uh, it's kind of hard for me to explain how to do it while I'm not actually watching myself do it. But yeah, you just do a normal braid. And then after you've done that, when you get all the way to the top, just twist the end around and you're good. You don't need to stick anything else together. By the time it burns down, the only time it will unwrap itself is when you're about a centimeter or two off the bottom yeah you get insanely fucked up from this like you're th you're smoking three joints in one go and it looks really pretty there you have it that's the braided that's the braided joint also if you guys know what patreon is and you want to support my videos there'll be a link in the description i just created it it's sort of a way for you guys to support from like a dollar upwards per video whenever i upload one so if you guys enjoy my content that'd be really cool if you Whoa. could check it out dang sweet works just as easy as that works perfectly almost every time so yeah if you like the video subscribe if you like me making videos like this comment down below leave the video a like yeah i'm gonna enjoy this